research expedition was to Nepal, um, into the region north of Kathmandu, um, a place called Manasalu. Um, and we were there for approximately five weeks. In particular, Bangor's research project was interested in understanding the importance of how fit you are on things like how ill you um, were at altitude, um, but also how well you performed as well. Really, to study people at high altitude for many days, um, it's impossible to do it in the lab. You know, people just wouldn't want to stay in a high altitude chamber for uh, a number of days. So, actually, being able to go and study people's physiology and psychology at, at high altitude, this is certainly one of the best ways of um, being able to do that. There were a number of projects on the expedition. Um, myself, I was looking at the impact of fitness on various aspects of an expedition. So it's answering the question, does being fitter make you uh, find trekking easier? Does it make you enjoy an expedition more? Does it make you get less illness? Uh, so looking at acute mountain sickness there. And um, does it make you perform better? Are you more likely to be able to get up a mountain successfully? And we're also trying to look at the underlying physiology of if this is the case, why would that be? It was a challenge. Um, we lived in tents pretty much for five weeks. So living out of a tent and um, also trying to complete research um, in an environment where you really do notice the weather. And we had things like deep snow on some days, um, lots of rain. Um, so trying to complete research and, and, and stay motivated to do that um, is, is a big challenge. One of the main challenges as as is often expected uh, with an expedition was definitely the weather. Um, so I think there are all sorts of claims made about it, but I think the one that stuck was something like the worst weather in 40 years. The pass was closed, so in order to get to, do, get to our base camp, we needed our research equipment to come from the other side of the pass. And uh, all the way up, we were bumping into people who were, had gone up to the pass and had to turn around uh, because the pass was closed due to snow. Um, so for the majority of the trek, we were fairly convinced we weren't going to get any research done. Uh, so that was quite, <laughs> quite stressful. Uh, and there were also an awful lot of avalanches. So there was a, a, lot of, a lot of challenges, particularly pertaining to weather. Um, but we managed to overcome them and get to base camp and do the research. For one of our studies, we've generated around 35,000 data points. And we have five individual studies. So it's a huge amount of data. And it's important that as we get back into our normal daily routines, our lives, our work, that we actually continue to make use of that data and analyze it and actually disseminate the findings to people who it is of interest to. So what we'll be doing now is actually checking all of that data to make sure it's good quality. and then. We'll be going through a process where we um, describe that data in two ways, scientifically, and we'll try and publish that data, but also in a lay format so that um, people who go trekking can go onto our websites and they can find that information that they can actually use and apply in their own activities when they go to high altitude. I think the fact that students have been able to take part in an expedition like this is fantastic. Um, you don't get that everywhere. It's fairly, fairly unusual. It's one of the things that attracted me to Bangor in the first place. I knew there were opportunities like this here, um, and not just an opportunity to go on an expedition, but to do it with people who are very experienced and have done it before and get some real research done in the process. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for students. It was a brilliant expedition. Um, the people on it, um, the experience of and you know, spending five weeks up there, um, trekking. Not many second years ever get to do an expedition like this, so look forward to it. I'm glad I went, and I can also use the research we collected for my third year project.